There's so much talk, mostly fear with what's going on in the economy today. And I want to straighten a few things out, at least as I see it. There's CPI this, inflation that, war, struggling people. But don't get me wrong, none of the data coming out right now is good for the economy. But when you look at each piece in isolation and then try to throw them together, you're only getting a half-baked plan and half a story. What's also getting to me is the constant chatter about struggling people. Now, once again, don't get me wrong, I know there are people struggling, but there always are. But when it comes to the economy, do you think it's these struggling people that are really the backbone of the financial system? I don't think so. You only need to open your eyes and look around to see the state of the economy. Talk to friends, relatives, get a feel for what's actually going on. I live in a relatively average suburb and I haven't seen removalist trucks coming and going or crying families on the street struggling to make their rent or being kicked out of their home. In fact, every few months I'm seeing a new car in someone's driveway or a big renovation going on. And have you even tried to get a tradesman lately? I can tell you they're all booked out and that's not just for Australia either. As far as I can see, the average person is doing just fine. The economy en masse is doing just fine, at least for now. And all of that doom, gloom, and negative press you're seeing by the headlines, all those doomsday influences that you're seeing online, all they're doing is trying to steal your attention. The average person isn't seeing any of this supposed financial Armageddon that's just around their corner. They're getting on with their day. All you need to do to understand where the economy is at is look down, not up. Look down at your feet at what you're standing on. The land market is the other half of the story and most economists don't ever talk about it or don't understand it. The land market is the largest asset in the world and as of September of 2021, it was valued at $326 trillion. Now sure, the interest rates have gone up and some areas have fallen a little bit, but I'll tell you what I think is going on right now. After the global asset boom that came about around 2020, assets all around the world, including land, crypto, stock markets, everything went through the roof. But it wasn't really until middle to the end of last year that sellers, people that weren't even interested in selling their homes, they started to flock to the market to get some ridiculous sale prices. And many of them pulled it off. What we're seeing now is some of these areas that did see those ridiculous sale prices they're starting to sell at some more reasonable levels or at least the new fair value, which is only a few percent below what those ridiculous prices were. Now, I do think this could go on for a few more months, but the land market en masse is still doing just fine. What you need to be paying attention to is when there's four sale signs all up around your neighborhood and nobody is turning up for the inspections. The struggling people being spoken about right now, they're not the financial backbone of the economy. But when the average Joe homeowner, when they're starting to feel the pain from their home losing value, then we've got some serious problems. We're not there yet, but it is coming. And I'd encourage you to watch a couple of my previous videos about when I think that's gonna happen. I'll leave a link in the description below. How about crypto? Well, crypto is in a down cycle. It's that simple. The trends are down, we're in a bear market. I could give you some on-chain analysis, some fundamentals, users on the network, or anything to spin a good narrative. But at the end of the day, the charts are down. I make my money from the markets, both trading and investing, based on the price. And in my opinion, the very best thing you can do right now is learn to read a chart. When the chart stops falling and those numbers stop going down, eventually there's gonna be a macro high low, and that's when the new cycle is gonna begin. In the meantime, I like to trade, keep an eye on the economy, but at a safe distance, and enjoy the quiet periods while I plan and prepare for the next boom ahead. That's it for my rant today. I hope you have a fantastic day. Enjoy some sunlight and until next time, I'll catch you then.